Hello and welcome to the Car Kerna channel and welcome to my favorite Tundra trim, the TRD Pro. In my opinion, this is the halo model of the Tundra, despite Toyota's best effort that the capstone is. See, recently I had an opportunity to drive every single trim of the Tundra in a single day in a direct comparison to see which one is the best one. And in my opinion, this is it. This drives the best, looks the best, and in my opinion, has the best options. And just it just shouts everything that the Tundra is proper. I unfortunately did not like the Capstone Edition because I think it is a sad attempt at making the Tundra into a Lexus, which doesn't really work very well. This, however, is proper. In today's video, I'm going to share with you why that is and what is so cool about the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro right after this. Let's start with the outside of the Toyota Tundra. And there's something about this truck. There is TRD goodness all over the place. It's very hard to miss that this is the TRD Pro model. The first thing I love about it is this grill. Not the grill itself, but the big Toyota lettering. I mean, I wish they do this on every single model. It just looks super cool. It looks proper, looks correct, and it's a very big shout out to the FJ because this is how it should be with all the trucks. I wish every single Toyota truck said Toyota like that in the front, not just the Toyota emblem. But then we move past that. It says Tundra right here. That's pretty standard, but I like how you spell out Toyota Tundra. There's no mistake in that for anything. And then if you remember the sneak peeks, the pictures that they released initially to reveal the Tundra, they were off a TRD Pro model. The lights, I love these lights. It just gives it a unique character to the TRD Pro. This light, this bar light, only comes on when you're on high beams. This is meant for off-roading, which this thing can actually do some off-roading. More TRD goodness. You have these three lights, orange lights, that are the driving lights. They say TRD on the inside of them, which is, uh, there is a theme here with the word TRD. There is not a single mention on this truck that it's a hybrid, because this actually only comes in the hybrid trim, but there is more than make up for that by the TRD badges, which do get a little excessive. So as we walk around the truck, you notice very large TRD Pro. I actually love this because when you're sitting in the driver's seat looking outside, you can see this giant fake scoop. I don't care if it's fake, it looks very cool. And it says TRD Pro on its side. And then more TRD goodness, we have TRD on the wheels and Pro on the wheels as well. These are BBS wheels. They're actually pretty cool wheels. I really like the design of them. They just match the character of the truck. And then, of course, we have a little marker light here that wouldn't be proper if it didn't say TRD on it. Then there is the controversial part, these. So these have the camo pattern, and you can, I hope you can see it well on camera in case you are not aware of it. This seems to be something that Toyota is really proud of that this is meant for the overland crowd. We even got you the camo here. I don't exactly like it, and I'll, be, I'll have to be honest, and you'll see this camo here, you see this camo here. Basically, every single piece of plastic will have some sort of camo on it. I am not into overlanding, maybe that's why I don't understand it, but I wish this was an option, because if I was getting a TRD Pro Tundra, I wish this would be just black. Would be better, but Nonetheless, all the plastic trim has this camo on it. From here, all the way to the back, things are standard Tundra. You do have the black pillars, which, has, which are actually, I, I love those. I wish the back pillar was also black, but I think that didn't happen because we have this curve. And when I asked what this curve serves, does it have a function? Because initially I thought maybe this is to strengthen this area for crash protection. That was not the case, this is just a design cue. Didn't like it, I wish it was just straight and up. 
gives you better visibility for shorter folks like me, but that's not the case. The handles, however, are a little bit on the disappointing side because they are literally flat black. And usually you'll find this type of handle in a base model car, not in the Halo model. I wish they did a little better on the handles. These handles feel so just generic and on the cheaper side, looks wise at least. I wish they were painted black, not just this base model roll up window style black, but that's what they did. Moving on to the back, we have more camo and the dual exhaust tips. Now in the previous TRD models, you used to have two tips, one here, one on the other side, because that was a V8. Well, this is a V6. You only get two on one side, which are pretty cool looking actually. And then of course, I told you the DR TRD trim is uh, very prominent. Side marker over here, of course, it says TRD in it. And then we come over to the back and there is another theme with this truck, the camera situation. So the TRD Pro has a 360 camera, bad camera, all kinds of cameras. So if you would, let's work on the number of cameras in the back. There's one here and there's two on the bed because three cameras in the back is better than one camera and absolutely better than no cameras. So there's a camera for the bed and then there's another camera for the rear view mirror which turns into a camera and then there is the 360 camera right here. This one is just a light to light up the camera so you can see better at night, which you do because this car, these cameras are really good. Usually Toyota is often criticized for putting the cheapest, most horrendous cameras in the rear view cameras when you put it in reverse. This one has a very nice camera. Then we go to more TRT goodness. We have three lights here, which actually light up. There's no fake reflectors here. And the biggest thing, this is possibly the only TRD touch I like on the outside. The rest is a bit much, but it does say kind of engraved into the bed, TRD Pro. Doesn't say Tundra, doesn't say anything. Barely says Toyota right here, you can barely see it. But TRD Pro, because you do not need to know this is a Tundra. This is just a TRD Pro. If you don't know what that is, we have problems. The bed. I really like the bed on the Tundra. I like the door that opens. And when you open the bed, it does say Tundra now. So that is another cool touch. I like the LED lights in the back, in the sides. It's actually very functional, especially at night. If you have stuff here, you want to get something. These are really good. But something I truly like, and this is not unique to the Tundra, the, uh, the bed mat. If you have spray on, bed liner and you get on it, like you start climbing in the bed and you put your knee here, it's going to scrape your knee every single time. And if you have nothing, it's kind of like, well, you have no protection. This is very cool. It's basically a giant floor mat that works. I like this a lot. But then there is more goodness. This is perhaps not exclusive to the TRD Pro model, but other than the more camo here, which I don't like, there's actually another button here to open the bed. This is very cool. I really like this. And then there's something else about the taillight. After close observation of the taillight, the taillight design is actually elaborate because you, Toyota loves to use that T to, to distinguish their trucks. And if you come look at this taillight, this is actually the hat of the T, which is pretty cool design, kind of a hidden little thing in there. You're just missing the line and you will have the truck T. And then there are some Easter eggs on the outside of the Tundra TRD Pro and potentially other Tundra models as well. Over here in the corner of the glass, it'll say Toyota, Toyota Trucks, and then if you really look close, there's actually a little bit of Morse code. And if you translate that Morse code, it says badass truck. And it is that. 
I truly like how this truck looks. Yes, I do not like the camo, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. This is the one, folks. To me, this is a Halo model. It looks right, it drives right. It rides the best out of all of them for some reason, even though it shouldn't because this is really meant for off-road, but it drives the best out of all of them, even the capstone. talk about the inside of the Tundra TRD Pro. The first thing you notice as soon as you open the door are the seats. They also have the camo in them, which I don't like the camo thing outside, but this one is actually pretty cool because it's the way it's, it's infused into the seat. It actually looks pretty cool and it's not overdone and it looks cool. It gives the truck character. But what also gives this truck extreme character is a Toyota big lettering on the dash. I mean, to me, that just screams heritage, screams this is proper, and I like it. This is, see, th this is the little stuff that people don't think about. They might see it as a gimmick, but once you sit here and you see it, it is very nice. And what is also very nice is this enormous screen. And there's something about this screen that most people might not have noticed unless you're taller. You know, are they shorter folks? News. There is actually a little storage compartment with a 12 volt outlet in it, right on top of the screen. If you're sitting in the driver's seat and you're short, you actually won't even see it unless you see it from the outside of the truck. That is pretty cool. Now, the TRD-ness kind of also carries over. You have TRD Pro stitched on the seats, you have TRD Pro on the floor mats. You have TRD written on the shifter. And of course, you have very large TRD on the steering wheel. Because why not is the question. Now, this interior is a little bit on the unique side when it comes to the TRD Pro, unless you go into the higher trims. For example, the gauge is this entire giant screen, which is standard on the TRD Pro model. Not really standard in the lower trims, but on the higher trims, you will still get the same screen. Now, the screen is very cool and all, but I'm usually against screens because that's one less, one more thing that's going to break at some point and it's unnecessary. The reason why it's unnecessary is it doesn't really do much other than a bunch of gauges and very little customization. So that's when I have issues with the gauges, but I'll give it to Toyota. The startup screen is very cool. The other thing that is kind of a trademark of the TRD Pro, and we remember this one from the kind of the teaser pictures they did. The enormous panoramic sunroof, which gives this interior kind of a different feel. It is, this interior folks is proper. I really like this interior. I like how they executed it. I like the camo here. Don't really like it on the outside. I love the Toyota lettering. I like the big screen. This is just the kind of interior you want to be in. It's comfortable, it's functional. At the same time, it is cool. The center console is enormous. And when I say enormous, that is an understatement. It is ginormous is the word I'm going to use here. It does have a lot of configurable compartments, but something that is cool. If you have a passenger and you want to grab something from the center console, you have this little door here. You just open it and you can just reach and get it. You don't have to get your passenger arm off just to open this giant behemoth. You can just open the little door. And then additionally, you have one more storage pocket here for little stuff. This is actually pretty cool. And one of the perhaps the coolest things about this interior, this is not TRD Pro exclusive, is where the phone charger sits. I mean, you can put your phone right here where it's in front of you. And I've tried it. The first time I saw this, wait, the phone is going to fall every time I break. Actually, it doesn't. It's just engineered just the right angle where the weight of the phone keeps it planted. You have plenty of storage here. This is just a very functional interior in addition to it being very cool, which I like. Usually, 
when the halo models come about, they start throbbing from your functionality just to look cool and be nice. This one doesn't do that, which I appreciate. And then we have the back seat of the TRD Pro, which is something that rivals a lot of luxury limousines. I mean, the space here and how comfortable the seat is, it's just epic. There's no other word for it epic and there's certain things that i like about being back here usually in a truck like this when it has leather seats the very back of the seat will actually not be leather usually plastic or some fabric material this is a full-on leather seat all the way around that is pretty cool you also have that camo in the back as well does not say trd pro in the back seat which is fine. I think we already have established this is a TRD Pro. But what you do have is a 120 volt socket. That is cool and functional. You have AC vents here. This is a pretty, pretty comfortable place to be. And of course, just like the front, we have this platform where you can comfortably rest your arm here. This is a great idea. This was something that was thought purposefully and executed wonderfully. The one thing about it though is uh, the material they used in the back is not the same as the material in the front, which leads us to our next conversation. The things I don't like about the TRD Pro, or actually it might be the whole Tundra lineup, there is a sense of cheapness when you first grab this handle, which I do not like it being this particular plastic, which is usually reserved for the base models of cars. Could have done this handle a little better. This is the first thing you're gonna open or touch to open this interior. The interior materials and the fit and finish is just not good. Not to Toyota's levels. And I have asked a few key people that designed this thing. While they did a great job, I asked them about the fit finish. They were like, this is a truck in the end. And they're trying to improve things on the fit finish, but it's still not there. And that's a problem because these trucks, especially this one, being a hybrid, being a TRD Pro, they're very expensive. When you get into that price point, things need to be better put together. Doesn't mean they're gonna fall apart and they're not well made. It's just not, well executed and there are some decisions that are not very good like i love this this is one of the greatest ideas ever you could put your arm here it's a big platform flat usually this is curved in cars and you put it and your arm slips off of it this is a perfect platform and this has red stitching very nice material soft touch and whatnot but then we go to the back seat And this is just a slob of very cheap plastic. This is not great. But then you look at the bottom here, we have red stitching here, and this is that same nice material. Well, why can't we make this as well, just like the front? They didn't, it's not the end of the world, but it's still, this, is, this remains the one problem with the Tundra. See, there is like, I feel like there was two departments. The department that wanted to make this a cool truck and then the, the department that made it a truck. I understand that trucks will usually have all kinds of plastic because they need to be rugged and kind of not have very soft materials that are very fragile. But not in the Halo model. Things need to be better feeling and better executed. I mean, we look here, this is, this corner doesn't look right. Something about this is not lining up correctly. It's these little things that give it that feeling of not very quality made. And this is the problem. This is the principle, remains the principal problem of the Tundra. The interior just does not reflect the quality of that hefty price that they command. And possibly one of the things I dislike the most about all the Tundras, really, is the fake V8 sound. It's fine because some people might like it, but I don't. And I wish there was a better way than going to the dealership, getting their scan tool to disable the sound, 
they could have made a button because even though this is a TRD Pro model and it has all the gizmos supposedly, there is plenty of blank switches that we could have used for engine sound on or off, but we didn't. I wish that gets updated in the future because it is super annoying to have a loud fake sound playing through the speakers every time you're driving and you know this is not actually how this truck sounds like. Every once in a while it's nice to hear that rumble, but not all the time. I wish it was something that you could turn on and off on demand. Let's take a look underneath the Tundra TRD Pro because there are a few differences between the TRD Pro model and the regular Tundra. First one is this giant shield. I mean, this thing is massive. It is, uh, in my opinion, bigger than the previous ones. It goes, extends further. And uh, of course, it says TRD on it, which is pretty cool. Another thing about the TRD Pro model, you have a much bigger sway bar in the front. But more importantly, the Fox shocks. These, these puppies are really nice. They work really good. They're not too invasive on your normal driving, but they are awesome for off-road. Of course, the TRD Pro model has different tires as well. And then in the back, we also have the Fox shocks with the reservoir on the side. And this pretty much wraps up the modifications of the TRD Pro. There's not really a lot more added to it, but while we are underneath here, I'll share with you some of the cool things. For starters, welcome to the world's longest fuel tank. Folks, just to give you perspective, this fuel tank starts right here and it goes all the way to here. This is an enormous fuel tank and it is orientated this way because yeah, I at least it is my feeling that the frame is narrower perhaps that's why this fuel tank has to be this long because the drive shaft is here the muffler is here there's really no other way to do this and this is a sight to behold this is the rear end of the tundra it is similar in my opinion to the previous one they did do some updates here but it is just big beefy rear end basically and then in the rear you also see the coil spring suspension we let go of the leaf spring here is the hybrid motor and the transmission we talked about this in depth in another video that i released earlier if you're interested in the details you're welcome to see that video but here it is in its glory this is the transmission transfer case which is something of a highlight on these this motor is now serviceable outside the transfer case. In the previous model, you had to tear the whole transfer case apart to replace this motor. Now this motor is replaced separately, which is pretty cool. Well, there you have it, folks. This is the Tundra TRD Pro. Even with its little fit and finish issues, I still love it. I love the way it drives. I love the way it looks. I love the way it makes you feel when you sit behind the wheel. It is special in every way. And yes, some folks out there will, for lack of a better word, hate a lot on the Tundra. They say, this is not a real truck. This is whatever, whatnot. To me, this is a proper truck. This is a truck that is different than those of the domestics. And the truth have to be said. I truly like this trim and I wish Toyota continues with the TRD Pro model because there is really not another truck that goes to this extreme on their Halo model. To me, this is a lot better than the Capstone Edition because the Capstone Edition, even though it's nice, initially you look at the white interior and all that, but it just lacks what this has, the character, it lacks the character. It doesn't look the part. You get inside of it, it's just a hard attempt at making it look like a Lexus, and it still doesn't, and the fit and finish really becomes an issue when you're paying that high price. This has the character. I hope this video was helpful and informative. I hope you learned something new. If you like it, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. And until the next video, folks, May the Lord bless you and keep you, and you have yourself a wonderful day.